Hello, you're watching Auto Advisor Channel. Ever wondered what the EPC indicator on your car's dashboard means? Can you drive when the EPC light on the dashboard appears, or is it dangerous? Well, let's delve into it. You'll mostly find this indicator on vehicles from the VW Group, which includes Volkswagen, Skoda, Seat, Audi, Porsche, and also Mercedes-Benz. The EPC abbreviation stands for Electronic Power Control, denoting electronic power control. Now, don't confuse this with the check engine signal. It's not a replacement, but rather a complement. In layman's terms, the EPC indicator is your car's way of telling you that something's amiss with the systems that contribute to traction control. This primarily relates to the ignition and engine management. So when you see this indicator light up on your dashboard, it's signaling potential malfunctions that could affect your vehicle's performance. Now that we've established what the EPC indicator is all about, let's look at some of the common causes for an EPC error. Firstly, an EPC error often indicates a problem with the power supply. Let's delve into this, shall we? Imagine if there's poor contact of the battery terminals or a floating signal in one of the connectors, for instance, the throttle or gas pedal. These could trigger the EPC error. Mercedes owners in particular often report the EPC light linking to low battery power, so it's not necessarily a technical fault, but rather a power issue. Now let's shift gears to the second cause, malfunction in the throttle assembly. The throttle houses the throttle position sensor, or TPMS. This little guy determines the opening angle of the choke, based on pedal pressure and engine operation. If it's worn out, or partially functioning, the EPC error may show up at a certain accelerator pedal position. Especially if you own a Skoda, Volkswagen, Audi, or other brands of the VG group, the EPC light might flicker at idle but vanish when you add revs. But that's not all. There are more causes to keep in mind. Thirdly, a malfunctioning accelerator pedal can cause an EPC error. The position sensor in the electronic accelerator pedal determines the degree to which the pedal is depressed. If this sensor is worn out or has completely failed, the EPC symbol on the dashboard may appear intermittently or light up constantly. Now, moving on to the fourth cause, a faulty brake pedal. Here, the common culprit is once again the position sensor. If it gets stuck or provides an incorrect signal, the control unit interprets this as the car slowing down, and as a result, it halts the fuel supply. This creates a conflict. The driver is pressing the accelerator, but the brake pedal sensor is signaling to stop. The result? An EPC error and a switch to emergency mode with forced traction limitation. And finally, let's look at the last cause. Lastly, the need for throttle adaptation can also trigger an EPC error. The electronic throttle in your vehicle requires an initial calibration, which essentially sets its minimum and maximum opening positions. This calibration, or adaptation, is usually done at the factory for new cars. However, for various reasons, this calibration can become disrupted, or as we often say in the industry, it can fly off. Now you might be wondering, what causes this disruption? Well, the most common reasons include the disconnection of the electrical connector of the throttle or a mechanical impact on the throttle flap. Both of these situations often occur during a throttle cleaning procedure. So if you've recently had your throttle cleaned and you're now seeing the EPC indicator light up, there's a good chance that a disrupted throttle calibration is to blame. So we've covered the main causes of EPC errors. But should you continue driving with this indicator on? Despite the EPC indicator being lit, you might not notice any alarming indicators or changes in your car's behavior. However, don't let this lull you into a false sense of security. The EPC light is a warning sign an electronic cry for help from your car's intricate network of systems. Ignoring it could lead to more serious issues down the line. You see, the EPC light is essentially your car's way of telling you something is not quite right with the electronic power control system. This could be anything from a power failure, a malfunction in the throttle assembly, a faulty accelerator or brake pedal, or even a need for throttle adaptation. While your car might seem to be running smoothly despite the EPC light, it's crucial to get it checked out as soon as possible. You wouldn't want to risk causing further damage or worse, compromising your safety. Remember, when it comes to your car's health, it's always better to be safe than sorry.